All right, we're going to add and subtract radicals. And in this problem, um, what we're looking for is the same index and the same radicand. So uh, root 7 and root 7 right here, the 5 and the negative 8 can be combined. So I'm going to do it just like those 7s were x's. I'm going to circle the 5 root 7 and the negative 8 root 7. I circled a sign in front of it, so that kind of reminds me of whether I'm subtracting or adding. And um, since the radicands are the same, 5 minus 8 is negative 3, root 7. Now, the root 11 has no one to combine with, and you're done at that point. On this one right here, we have a 3 root 2 that is like the 10 root 2. So, 3 plus 10 is 13 root 2 minus root 6. Nothing simplifies um, other than that. And then here, I do not have like radicands, but in most cases I can get like radicands because that root 20 needs to be broken down the way we did earlier. Um, I know that the perfect root that will go, the perfect square that will go into 20 is four. Four will go into 20. That's one of the factors. Four times five. Put the perfect root in front so you don't have to rewrite it. The square root of four is um, two. So I have two root five that can be combined with the, with the 10 root five. So now 10 root 5 plus 2 root 5 would be 12 root 5. And on this one, this is a 7. Um, this is not a 7, but I think I can make it a 7. Um, what goes into 63 in my perfect square list? Well, 9 does. And 9 times 7 is 63. So I'm going to change this to a negative 6 times root 9 times root 7. 9 times 7 is 63. All right, the square root of nine is three, so I have negative six multiplied by three times root seven, which is negative 18 root seven. So four root seven minus 18 root seven, now I can combine them. Four minus 18 is negative 14 root seven.